tenderly, he looked into the rushing water, into the transparent green, into the crystal lines of its design, so rich in secrets. He saw bright pearls rising from the deep, quiet bubbles of air floating on the surface, reflecting the blue of the sky in it. With a thousand eyes, the river looked at him, with green ones, with white ones, with crystal ones, with sky blue ones. How he did love this water, how it did delight him, how grateful was he to it. In his heart, he heard the voice which was newly awaking, and it told him, Love this water, stay near it, learn from it. Oh yes, he wanted to learn from it. He wanted to listen to it. He who would understand this water and its secrets, so it seemed to him, would also understand many other things, many secrets, all secrets. But of all the secrets of the river, he today only saw one. This one touched his soul. He saw this water ran and ran, incessantly it ran, and was nevertheless always there, was always and at all times the same, and yet new in every moment. Great is he who could grasp this, understand this. He understood and grasped it not, only felt some idea of it stirring, a distant memory, divine voices. <laughs>